Central. I'm finally back. Sorry for not being that active. I've been quite busy with a few other things. So today uh, I will be reviewing the Quizer version 2 bolt. So some of you may remember that I reviewed version 1 about 10 months ago. It didn't really go to plan. It didn't pan out well for that one as the bolt didn't actually fit on the standard KM Shisha. A few months after we had done that review they came out with the version 2 which I'm going to show you today. So the differences between version 1 and version 2, the fact that it actually has a glass bolt instead of a silicone bolt. Also another big difference of it holds a bit more tobacco than the previous one. It actually fits on most shishas around the world. So it fits on the tobacco shisha, the KM shisha, the Starburst shisha and most of the other models out there in the market. So the bowl comes in this nice packaging, fairly straightforward and quite simple. Also comes with some instructions in a few different languages inside. I actually ordered my one from um, them direct on their website. So let me run you through it. It comes in three different compartments along with the um, coal holder. Just put the glass bowl in here. You can do it any way you want in here. Put in these grooves into the relevant places so it fits on nice. And then when you put the coal in, same as the previous model, you'd find the grooves, lock it in until it's nice and locked and it doesn't come out. And the flavor we'll be using today is Savaco Purple Rain. It's a mixture of dark blueberry along with grape and black mint. So it's a very good flavor to have. Um, it's good, it's really popular in the UK market now as well. You can find out loads of um, lounges around the UK. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack the bowl and I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, so I'm back now, pack the head. This uh, bowl normally takes around 20 to 25 grams of flavor depending on how much you want to pack it. So I'm going to go ahead, get some coal and put in two 25 millimeter pieces of charcoal. There you go. Then you're going to put it directly into the groove again, like that, like so. I'm going to then put this on top, onto the second groove, twist it like that till it's firmly in place. Put it on top here. We're gonna let it settle for around, so you have to cool up for about five minutes. In the meantime, I'll put in the disposable pipe, Mazago. A lot of lounges in the UK use this pipe. It's the best disposable pipe on the market. Put it in as so. Oh yeah, I'm also using um, the Savako Shisha. So you've, some of you should have seen this eight to nine, or even more lounges now around the UK. It's a very good Shisha. It's a German standard. It's good for your collection and for lounges who want something a bit different, a bit more premium. So we're gonna sit here for about five minutes till it pumps up. So guys, I've left for about five minutes, taken a few pulls already. Let's see how good it is. very clean smoke I'll give that as a plus point also the fact it took around seven minutes out here in a normal outdoor environment when I use this at home it normally takes around five minutes um, very clean smoke you can taste the flavor properly um, it fits on all types of shishas another good point about it is the fact that coal is invisible so it's a bit more of a smarter shisha bowl um, you don't get any uh, wind coming and blowing away the ash into someone's face like you do at lots of other places you go. So it's got a few good points I'll say. Um, one little bad point about it is it does feel a bit airy when you're smoking from it. Um, it depends on which shisha you use. Some shishas it might be fine, some shishas it might feel a bit airy. So for a regular smoker, smokes daily and likes a firm sort of smoke without any air, it might not be for you. But overall, it's a good product. I'm glad they listened to feedback from loads of reviewers around the world and adjusted their um, quiser head. So this is version two. You can buy it direct from the Quasar website. Um, after seeing our first review, they're also giving us a 10% off for all our followers. So use uh, discount code Shisha Central on their direct site. So make sure you go and uh, check them out.
So another thing about the Kaiser head is that it lasts for around 45 minutes to an hour for the smoke session. So with two 25 millimeter pieces of coal, you're roughly gonna get around that much uh, smoking time in that. When I use that at home, it normally stays for about an hour, but I've noticed when I use it out of doors, um, it stays for about 45 minutes without changing it. When you do change it, because of the rubber on top of the metal, it does get a bit hot, but it doesn't actually burn you like a few other HMDs out there. So it is quite easy to change. Another good thing about the Kaiser is it's more good for home use, so I say, instead of lounge use, as at lounge, it can get a bit messy when uh, your staff are changing the heads of health and safety purposes. But other than that, with the Kaiser, I would say that for home use is the best. Also for shisha hires as well. If you do have any shisha hire companies out there, it is a quite a good product if you have only given your customers the hour of smoke. We're using the Savako Shisha, so if you like this Shisha, go over to shishagear.com. Um, prices vary depending on wholesale and retail. Um, and for the Purple Rain, this is the 200 gram tub. So go and check that out. They're the only ones who are selling it online, as well as Savako and Starbucks. So if you find out it's from anywhere else, don't bother. It's not legit then. This is the legit version. You can only buy it from those outlets. And for Mazago pipes, let us know if you need any of them. We can put you in contact with the direct owner of them as well. So thank you for watching, and I will be bringing you more reviews now. I know I've been slacking, but you know what? I said to 2019, we're going to do at least two to three reviews a month. So watch out for them. And I'd also like to say a quick thank you to Colony Lounge. At the end of this video, we'll show a few clips of the lounge. It's a restaurant and lounge based in Ilford, East London. Uh, it's what East London needed, a uh, premium shisha lounge with a magnificent restaurant inside, great Gatsby effect, food is banging, shisha is banging, um, so make sure you check them out. But anyway guys, I'm off, I'll see you soon, keep supporting, make sure you subscribe and like and do all of that, and I'll see you guys soon, take care.